Working with reference models is often a very basic requirement. And a lot of times we get DWG or DXF files to be used uh, as a reference and over which we can then use the lines in those models to create our own model. In Commosys, this is possible. And all you need to do is import the file. So for example, if you go to the file menu, in the import section, you have a DXF 2000, for example, that you can use in this case. So let me choose that option. And it brings up a dialog box, which is for the import of DXF files as reference models. And I can uh, press these three buttons over here. And I can go and browse uh, in my uh, file browser. And I can choose any DXF which I want. I'm going to choose a section over here. Now, uh, what it does is, it's going to bring that section in and uh, what it does is it shows you all the layers which it finds in that DXF. And you can then decide whether you want all of them or you want to not have some of them uh, before you actually import the drawing. Now, um, there's another option over here which you can say, so for example, you might say that, okay, import all the layers, but also convert this particular layer say a layer called steel uh, into actual steel frames so any lines which are then in that layer will be converted into steel frames automatically so i'm not going to use that right now we'll, uh, we can discuss this later these are the objects which will be imported from the th from the 3d dxf file this is the origin of import according to the current work plane and this is the scale at which it will be imported so if i just press import I can see that this whole DXF file has been imported into my model. Now, um, obviously this is a section, so I, uh, it's uh, incorrect to import it in the plan view. So what I can do is I can delete that and I can maybe take a section from here. So let's go to my view command and take a view by two points. And in my view with two points, I can change my work plane to come to that. So now my work plane is in the sectional view and I can go back and import my DXF, DXF layer again, the same file. I just say import and now it's there and I can see it that uh, previously it was on the, in the plan view but now it is in the sectional view because that was my work plane and my view in which I imported my reference model. Once I have my reference model, what I can do is I can actually snap to these lines as well. So if I go into my steel menu, I can go to my, for example, trust command over here and I can zoom in. You need to really zoom in and snap to this point, for example. Zoom into the other side, snap to this point. And now I have actually placed my trust member along that line. Let me add some zero members over here as well. To here, you see that the node is created. Zooming out, adding another member. Now, one thing I want to mention at this point is that usually the DXF files which we find uh, in the industry are not necessarily of the highest accuracy. And it all depends on who was the creator of those uh, DXF files. Now, if the DXF file has been entered properly uh, with absolute precision, then of course, using it as an underlay over which you can just keep on adding the elements is, uh, is very nice. But one, I always recommend that one should always check whether the DXF file itself has been created properly or not. It seems a very attractive option to immediately have an underlay over which you can uh, work directly. So let me just hide this DXF file, for example. It comes in the form of DXF solids. So I can remove the visibility of those solids from here. And now only those four elements which I had entered are visible on the screen. So if you were to, if you were to uh, sure that this particular DXF file is trustable, then actually going over these lines is uh, recommended. But we always recommend that one should always ensure the quality of the DXF file. But once you have a good DXF file, which you can trust, 
you can import that. And on top of that, if you know that a particular layer represents the steel, you can convert that layer directly into frame elements even during the import stage. So you won't, be, you won't even have to go over these lines once you've imported the file.